The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info this man needs medical attention holmberg's morning sickness the old method of treatment for a person in this condition was to throw him in jail good morning everybody hello there welcome to thursday it's 5 45 my name's john holmberg there's brady bogan creepy e big dick toledo we're ready to go uh, unless you live up in the uh north West part of the valley. I'm getting texts from my cop buddies, even a couple of them. Ben just texted me again. I was looking. I saw this. There's a semi rollover on the I-17 by the 101, and it's, it's carrying cement bags. So it's not an easy just scoop and sweep out. They're got to pick all these cement bags up, and it's going to be closed all morning. According to landscapers uh, out there, and just well, yeah, you'd think so. Road, right? It's not. In, it's just, still in the bag. Just hose, so. hose it down. <laughs> yeah, the thing tipped. Over. That's what hose I say. Make down. new freeway. Make yeah. a bump. <laughs> Make a big bump if you just kind of level it. Open the bags and pour it out, boys, and then we'll pour, we'll put lines on it later. It'll it'll work out perfectly. So, yeah. So that's going to be closed. Uh, I think they said northbound I seventeen and uh, the southbound one hundred and one. Just stay away from it. The whole area is going to be a disaster. If you live up in Anthem, you've got an excuse as to you know your terrible terrible decision to move. Call to it Anthem. the day. Call it the yeah. Call it off. Today is a day off. If you're a woman, you can say there's freeway problems, and I just started my. Lady thing, and it's heavy flow. The second you say heavy flow to your manager, you can go home. Ugh. Exactly. See? Look what it did to Eric, and it was hypothetical. Stay home. Yeah, you should stay home. I, I'm in the freeway. I'm very nervous, and it seems to be a problem. I'm going to be late, and I'm also experiencing, and I hate to say this, my lady problem, and it's a heavy flow. Oh, uh, you need to stay home for the week. For in the fact, week. wander the earth. Wander the earth biblically for seven days. Until you can you, clean yourself. You've been preaching this for a while. I don't know if I've ever actually heard anybody do that. Well, because they're Girl. cowards. But I'm telling you right now, if you were looking for the easy out. Man up, ladies. One. Yeah, yeah. Sack it up, ladies. Put your dick on the table, mama, because that is one that's going to get you out of work. Hi, Gordon. Mm-hmm. How are you today, Gladys? Not good. Lady bit problems. Oh, oh. I'm having heavy flow. Click. Oop. Gladys isn't going to be here for April. It's like a massacre in here. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a little bit like Dahmer's refrigerator in my panties. It's medical. Don't gender shame. You got it. Use it, ladies. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? We don't. We don't get an excuse like that. We don't have that. And if we did, we'd call our manager and, hey, man, my nuts ache. Well, my nuts ache every day. Get your ass in here. Yeah, he's got nuts, too. He knows I'm making it I up. I guess if you're, like, John Wayne Bobbitt or something. Then you yeah, a good well, that's a pretty good excuse. Day. You've had a horrible crime committed. I, I was I had Stitches my... pop out. <laughs> yeah, that's, an unru- that's one you're not going to use just to try to get out of a day of work. Yeah, last night, things got a little heated. My wife accused me of cheating and cut my dick off. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in about noon today. <laughs> What's this now? I'll be there. Heavy, super glue. heavy flow. I'm not going to miss uh-huh. a full day. <laughs> I don't understand. You're I lying. had to go find it last night. It's going to feel it. Thank God my neighbor found it. <laughs> I thought it was in the refrigerator, but it was just chicken breast uncooked. Cutlet. <laughs> but, you know, I might, so much tears in my eyes, I couldn't really get a good visual. Either way. Ladies use it. Men, now you got yourself. A, that's all we get is a traffic thing. So if you're up there in that area and you're driving through it, there you go. You got one built in this morning, but it is going to stay closed pretty much all day, according to not only the news, but uh, uh, the, my cop buddies on the scene evidently are like, yeah, this is not good, so let everybody know. He says it's messy. Uh, I-17 south to Loop 101 east. That's the one that's just going to be off limits all morning. So you live out there, you know, take some extra time. I'm sure there's an IHOP in that area. 
hop in there. Enjoy yourself. Have a nice morning. Uh, make sure that it's not on the Dirty Dining Report. Uh-oh. I saw that yesterday on Channel 5. I love that Dirty Dining Report because they always do the Dean's List, too, the perfect ones. So yesterday, Payway got hammered up in Chandler, and I mean hammered. Dirty what? Ve- yeah, oh, in Chandler? Chandler, one of Chandler got just, like, it was the worst, and Channel 5 was Uh-oh. killing them. Uh, it says sent a list, seven different things, and they were basically the health code violations. Go there all the time. Dirty vents. They had a refrigerator that was at the wrong temperature by two degrees. They had a chicken had touched something that a cleaning meat had product, touched. maybe or cleaning products were, yeah, were on the wrong shelf. Yeah, and it wasn't even like they were poured over onto the food. They were like, yeah. "This shouldn't be next to it this. Can't be next to right. each other." Right? Oh man! And, and the dirty vents and stuff. And I'm like, man, that's that's brutal to go on the news with. Basically, it's you know, you need a little housekeeping and to move a couple of things. It wasn't like they were saying they, the guy piss him in the. And then on the on the dean's list because they named that off. I have it in front. It was uh, fajitas. I don't know where that is. Black Canyon did great. Yeah. Hunter Percenter. Burger King on McAuliffe's Road. Hunter Percenter. Honey Baked Ham on Olive. Awesome work. Oh, that's a great place. Huh? Circle K. Indian School. Keeping it clean Circle up in K Scottsdale. Gets on the yep, yep. Dirty Dining Report? The Circle K does. Well, they have food, so they have to get inspected. Oh. And the Walmart on Rancho Santa Fe Road in Avondale. Perfect scores. And then one more was on the list, and I started laughing because I just had this conversation down the hall with Ian. About because uh, he got it was in a strip club. He had his car breakdown in front of a strip club. So uh, uh, sure, sure. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Highlighter Gentleman Showcase oh, Show Club oh, oh. is on the dean's list. What? Yes. And I'm like, wait a minute. Impressive. Hold on. How easy is it to manipulate the health inspector at a strip club? First oh, of all, my God. So, we got dirty vents. Oh, do we? And then you just bat some cancer. Here's I another him. thing. I'm sure he's an honest man. I do too. Here's another thing though. Payway got hit for a couple of things. Like, we've got some cleaning supplies that are a little too close to the food. We've exposed <laughs> buttholes at the highlighter near food that's being well, consumed. I mean, if your waiter the, came over, no, the, the grill is, is on the way out of the yeah, way. It's, it's, the, the grill. It's in the air. If, if, in fact, your waiter came back while you're eating at Porkopolis with his pants off and said, how are things going? Like, Great. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> yeah, they're not serving. Though, uh, at Le Girls, we asked the girl to please yeah. step back. She was flashing her beef within a foot and a half of my That's steak. That's a different strip club. I this know. strip club has rules. Basically, <laughs> they've got a distance. But that's my point. They've got a distance that an exposed butthole can be from food. But a dirty vent is going to get payway hammered on the news. Come on. Yeah. What's Gamba Ding Dong going to do in his spots now? I don't know. That's going to be a tough one for him. <laughs> Despite all the rumors... Of filth and whatever. Not my payway. Still, no exposed buttholes next to the udon noodles. <laughs> Very rarely does the payway have an exposed butthole. Someone highlight is perfect. Or it's a new policy. Oh, They're maybe. Go with it. Maybe we go with the highlighter policy where we have exposed buttholes because that that's perfect. <laughs> Evidently, you can have genitals and buttholes heavy flow on the udon. That would be a rough one for Highlighter. We saw a girl with heavy flow getting too close to the serving center. No Asians ever work at Payway. It's always Mexican. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing with all the uh, sushi places. That's all the way around. I I always laugh at the Mexican ninjas, and they dress them up like ninjas, and then... I've seen a few sushi places with... Yeah. They've always got one, he's in charge, and then the Mexicans are cutting. (laughs) And then you walk in, and they go, hey, pinche John! And I'm like, I don't think that's what you're supposed to say. They're supposed to call me. Is there animal. that much that they're that comfortable? They were for a while there at the one I went to over at the Fashion Square. Pinche John! Like, no, the Mexican ninjas, that is not mm-hmm. what, no, I think you're supposed to say something else. But congratulations to Highlighters. Perfect scores. The place was built in the late 50s. Burp beer and a dance. <laughs> yep. And a butthole within the safe, acceptable distance to your food. I never got people that no, I don't ate get it at, at all. the strip club. We did. I've seen some people scarf some food down there. They're like big meals, too. Not yeah. like, you know, I'll have some chips. and Prime rib. And, and, yeah, big steaks and broccoli. <laughs> like, you cannot tell what it yeah. looks like in the dark, the no, prime rib. We went prime there rib a, has to be cooked a certain way. It was a dare. We're like, have you ever had food at a strip club? I'm like, hell no. And like, we got to go Monday at 2 in the afternoon. We go to Lay Girls. Is that our trip with Larry? Uh, that was a different one. Did we no, eat? This, I don't no, think I That was ate. a different one. I didn't this, eat. This was with JJ, and I think just Brady and JJ and I went, and it was just steak, broccoli, au gratin potatoes. I'm like, this is fantastic. And then this disgusting Monday stripper beaver that was floating over my face the entire time, and, and Jay actually did say, could you please scoot that back just a little bit? 
This We're, could be Brady's yeah. dream, though. Food yeah. and naked girls. Oh, yeah. Rudy, I, except I, for the I naked girls part. <laughs> Chef Rudy and Rudy's Grill. Oh, Rudy's taking care of him. Nice job, Rudy. You're keeping it. You run a tight ship. He serves a nice sirloin stead and I'll have jumbo the, butterfly oh, shrimp. I'll have the lasagna Italiano after the girl with heavy flow gets off the stage. Oh. What is a stead? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I'll have the golden fried jumbo shrimp, please. Maybe he, nobody was giving him a job out of uh, culinary school, and he's you like, screw it. there, too. I'm going to, I'm the, going I'm going to, to see some beef. And they offer a low-calorie menu, John. TNA all day, and I get to cook. Come on. You know what? Your vagina's inspired me. I'm going to stop making pink grilled cheese. <laughs> butterfly this breast for you. Butterfly. I'm going to butterfly some chicken. <laughs> you have inspired me with your giant beaver. Perfect scores, Tyler. I, I, I'm, look, all I'm that's saying a, is. That's a big menu. Uh, all I'm saying is they've got an advantage over payway when the health inspector shows up to sway him from writing down a few. Come on. We had some of the floor cleaner next to the jumbo gold rimps. You want to give us a break? I bet you Dakota can make you feel different about this. Hi, health inspector. Motorboat. He doesn't all right, even all make right. his way to the kitchen. Payway doesn't but- have. Yeah, pay- exactly. He just sits down. This place looks good. <laughs> Real good. Check. Come on, Highlighter. You know you guys are cheating the system. You're, you're allowed to have beavers and buttholes and boobs. But I don't think the health inspector goes in there with, like, tags and stuff saying who he is. Yeah, they do. They say, well, sometimes they come in and announce it's themselves. They, right? have a, yeah. they have a clipboard. They come in with a thing and say, we're health. We're, and it's a surprise. You, you know that. It's yeah, like they healthy. just show up and you're like, ah, crap. I'm like, health inspector. And then you run back to the kitchen and go, Tony, health inspector's here. Start finding stuff. And then before he can make it through, he goes through all the yeah. beers and Q-tips the taps. So and, you're saying at the end of his little <laughs> thing. Hey, I'm why saying, don't you come over here and have a seat? And the second he says to the announcer, or the uh, the uh, the announcer, manager, slash, same thing, uh, with the health inspection, I'm here for a health inspection. Hang on just a second, all right? Don't you, you don't move. <laughs> Ladies, health inspector's here. Blow him thoroughly. Let's get dolled up. Don't you want to uh, inspect the champagne room first? I wouldn't mind that. I'll go in the champagne room, make sure that the vents aren't full of dust. How the about lady- a bowl of fettuccine? Yeah. That one stripper, when I was with Jay that time, went over and touched his steak and then licked her finger. No uh, way. Yes, she did. She went, I don't know if she actually touched it, but she acted like You're she was crazy. reaching. crazy. The, the reason Jay was like, this She's is absurd. Hungry. She, I don't know if she actually touched it, but she acted like she was. She made it part of her little. We were the only ones there. It was Monday at Well, two. there was one other guy. She reached. Oh, yeah, in the, the dude in the sweats that was jerking off the whole time. That's true. <laughs> Which is also probably frowned upon by the health. My friend, how was the steak? <laughs> he said, good. Did she touch your thing, huh? She included you in her bit. Yeah. <laughs> Very sexy beaver. He had gray. I won't forget. That was 14 years ago. Gray sweatpants on, half a heart on, and the Aleutian Islands stink all over his. It was awful. And he just sat there in his little Middle Eastern velour sweats. Terrible lap dance after terrible lap dance. Watching One more snapple. Yeah, that girl went over. And I don't know if she actually touched the stick, but then she did the finger lick. And she was so gross. So gross. That when she went on her, you know, her exorcist crab walk towards us, vagina first, Jay's like, could you please just, right there's fine. And we started dying. I'm like, oh, my God. He told her to keep her beaver away from our food. <laughs> and she did. Ugh. So I'm just saying, if, in fact, one of the payway employees offered to blow the health inspector it would have been frowned upon. I know what's going on over at that highlighter. Dean's List. You couldn't find one dirty vent in a 51-year-old building. 61-year-old building. Stop it. Stop it now. I want to go there now. I, I am curious. Just to, just I've for had the lunch culinary. there. You've had lunch Years at the highlighter? Ago. Yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I was, that was the place I took Colin that time he was in a suit. I'm like, this is perfect. You're in a suit. You couldn't look creepier. We're going to the highlighter. And it was like 1230 at night. Drive into the highlighter, sit down. And a girl that looked just like Marilyn Manson with a... Every bit of her innards came out smelling like a cigar box. And she was waving that thing around in his face. And I just kept giving her 10 after 10 to stay on Colin in the suit. I'm like, I want your whole suit to smell like Cubans by the end of the night. I don't know what... I don't know what odor is being emitted from that thing. But I had to turn my head because it smelled so much like a cigar ashtray. Every time she'd lift her leg and put it on the back of his chair. And Colin actually, during one of the dances, leaned his head around her and said, I hate you. 
to me. <laughs> and she kept going, I like you. You want another one for free? I'm like, hell yeah, he does. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh-huh. And he just goes, Ew. I'm sitting there dressed in tattered rags. Nobody wants anything to do it. I'm the one sliding all the cash over. It was phenomenal. We had a sales manager that uh, was a big fan. Who? And, um, Griffin? But anyway, no. Oh. No. But he was like, uh, he was said one day, uh, hey, I want to take you to lunch. I'm going to take you. We're going to have uh, lunch at the ballet. Took you to the dance. Yep. That's nice. The dude with the ring. You got to know. No, no, you, no, no, a different guy. Yeah. Either way, whenever your manager wants to take you there, just count on the fact he's not going to be And when they say hi to him when he walks in, you yeah. know he's... <laughs> he's not going to be he's, there for a long he's time. He's on the range. He was the norm yeah. of the strip club. Yeah. Everyone that that frequents strip clubs and don't, doesn't just treat it as a crazy, goofy, once-in-a-while thing, guys that go all the time, they are very rarely your managers for a long time. They come in. Remember Chris? Uh, Ebbett yeah. used to be the program director over at The Zone. You lived with you for a little while. Uh, told me that he doesn't like to go to Las Vegas. And I'm like, yeah, I said, gambling can get expensive. He goes, I don't gamble. I lose thousands and thousands of dollars at the strip, cl- strip clubs. And I'm Whoa. like, thousands? And he goes, That's I can't. Addiction. It's a problem. And I'm like, do you go here? And he goes, I used to, but I lo- well, in L.A., but I lost my job. I had to get another job. I'm like, because I was missing too much work. I'm like, oh, my God, Chris. He brought some talent home one night. <laughs> yeah, he brought a stripper to you. Next to your morning, house. she wouldn't leave. He's like... Get her out of there. You want to have pizza? I was keeping her around as long as I can. I can't get, get out of here. She was still there when he came home from work. <laughs> Brady made friends with her. Of course he yeah. did. Yeah, he used to frequent the strip clubs. And, of course, could not remain manager for a long time. Yeah, well, yeah, Didn't Toledo, thing. didn't you go to the strip club for a while there? You were becoming yeah, a boys regular? From, yeah, boys from Mo Money Pond <laughs> back in the day. I remember where those I had days. kids. That's where I met uh, Dimebag Daryl. And then what happened? Uh, you moved then, to Toledo because r- you couldn't work here right. anymore. It, it, it affects what, your life. That's the reason? The strip it's one club? of the reasons. Well, we never knew what happened. Yeah, we, we never really knew why it happened, but he started to hang out with the wrong crowd, and he ended up in Toledo for a while. And then he came back, and he stopped going to strip clubs, and now he's a responsible Look, member of society. you're going to have to go to Toledo for a while. Yeah. Let things Exile. settle down. Exile. Yeah. It, yeah. You got to go. We'll call it a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go. Yeah, it was pretty bad. You were so, pretty broke back then, man. What the hell were you doing? Charging uh, it? Right. <laughs> no, we knew everybody that worked there. Yeah. Oh, really? Didn't pay for freebies? Anything. Didn't pay for anything. Yeah. Butt Thank holes. you, Brian. Sorry for, for outing you. What's your safe butthole Been distance decade, at Porkopolis? Right. Do you have a safe butthole distance from uh, waiter to food? Do you, have keep a, do you have a good policy to say to keep your buttholes this far from the food at all times? You're exposed oh, yeah. buttholes? Yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully you don't have to go over that. If, yeah. you're having, if you're having to review Incorrect, that policy. Brady. You don't have a policy on that. <laughs> yeah. No butthole is right. safe. But if that's the answer to that. That's is what I'm no, saying. If that's yeah. even a question. Yeah. If, yeah. if uh, anybody, if, uh, how can I get my exposed butthole to the food? Because I used to work at Highlighter. Well, that's a section over here. This so. job's not going to work out no, for you. No, you got to go. <laughs> the safest your butthole can be to the food is the bathroom. And la vie, las, as whatever. All employees must wash hands. What if it's a really nice butthole? La vie sus yeah. manos. I want to find that out differently than I do through through food consumption. Mmm, this is not, And you know what's great about it is a waitress's butthole's pristine. And, um, pulled pork sandwiches and a nice shiny butthole. Food and buttholes. What if it's your Kardashian girl? Which one do you Kylie? like? Kylie? She's had a child. She's useless to Pre-child. me. Pre-child. Gross. I still don't want her butthole by my meal. No? I love Megan through and through. But if she delivered food to me and then occasionally walked by... And butthole was out. Uh, let's go put something over that real quick, just in case. We don't know what might. You know, the air conditioner might kick on and blow something off. Let's just keep the buttholes uh, covered up. And the, and the honey holes, too. Honey holes, are, they do all sorts of weird stuff. You can serve me food at my home naked. We're probably not going to eat. That means we're about to do it. But yeah, cooking naked is just... It's dangerous, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's just not that good. You got to be a. You got to be a, a. What are you making? Stroke victim in training. Oh, fried stuff. Right. Like I mean, Ronnie would do it, but she'd be upset that you'd be looking around her body. What else is in the pot? Did you notice? Is anything it ready else? yet? Did you notice? I'm only in an apron. Yeah, that's good. Good move because you can cover up your body from all. The- Ooh, what is that? Honey, big Tim. I'm hard as a rock. Uh, it's 6.04. Congratulations, Highlighter. And we're sorry, Payway. The dirty dining thing is Don't unfair. Get it fixed up. It's unfair. 
The, sure, dirt, the dirty dining thing there. is unfair. Because a lot of the times, most restaurants get dinged three or four things, and then they come back and double inspect. The surprise inspection comes for to find, you know, little things. Those vents are always a thing. If you forget the vents once and get hit, it's like, oh, our vents are dirty. Temperatures. Check out. Temperatures are huge. Yeah, but, two but degrees. again, it's down to, you know, their deal. So it's two degrees off. Yeah, they're going to knock it. And, it yeah. seemed, and then it goes on dirty dining like you're running some sort of a filthy establishment. Right. Bottom line is every restaurant has it. The second inspection is usually like, Cleared right up, but Channel 5's all over you. And the highlighter won. Dean's list. No problems. I can't believe it. But congratulations, Chef Rudy. You're doing a hell of a job over there. Let's get a wake-up song, find out where Eric's going. Uh, 602-585-9800 is the phone number. Let's get a good one. We'll scream it together. It's 98 KUPD. Wake up! Arizona's most powerful, powerful rock radio station. 98 You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.